Hello, in this video I want to talk about simple DC motors and how you can control their speed using a microcontroller. Let me just show you to start off with the hardware I've got. I've got an eBlox board with a PIC Micro microcontroller. On the outputs I've got on bit 0 on port A a little potentiometer. On port B I've got a display, LCD display. Port C I've got a splitter and I've got an actuators board and an oscilloscope. And the actuators board has got a servo motor on, a DC motor with feedback on that little wheel there, and also a stepper motor. Let's look at the program that shows how to control the speed of the motor. So here's a flow code program. On the panel, I've got an LCD on port B. I've got on bit C, bit 2 on port C, a DC motor, um, and it's set up in half bridge mode, and I've got a potentiometer on port A, bit 0. The program sets things up and then goes into an endless loop, clear the LCD, we get a byte value from the potentiometer, um, we then print that value onto the LCD, and we also set the um, DC motor power output to be forwards to that value. And if I simulate that for you, you can see that working. Um, when there's no volts on the potentiometer, the motor's static. And in this case, as I increase the potentiometer value, the motor slowly increases in a linear way until I've got full speed when um, we're at uh, a value of 255 or 254 going to the motor. Let's look at that in practice. I've downloaded the program already. If I, if you look at the LCD display and I slowly increase the potentiometer output, then you can see that the value increases. Um, but it's not until we get to around an output of around 150 out of 255 or around 60% that the motor starts to turn. Um, which is a bit odd. So this is a good example where the simulation does not uh, mimic true life. And the reason for that is there's a considerable amount of friction in the motor. Uh, it's only a very cheap motor, so the bearings aren't great. And you need quite a lot of power output before that friction is overcome. Um, now what we're doing is we're using something called pulse width modulation to control the power to the motor. And if I minimize that again and bring up the oscilloscope, so this is an oscilloscope or logic analyzer that's attached to the uh, pins on port C. And if I press play and then slowly increase the power, what you can see is that, let's just freeze that for a second, the output on bit two on port C um, is on for some of the time and off for some of the time. Now in this particular case it's on for 6 microseconds out of 32 microseconds and we call that the mark space ratio here um, or you could say uh, it's a percentage. Uh, so as I slowly as I increase the output um, then here um, it's actually quite a considerable output power before the motor turns on. But you can see that the mark space ratio is altering until I'm nearly all uh, on. And so we're now at full speed. So that's how um, the speed to a motor is controlled. And inside the microcontroller device, there is a special circuit which is dedicated to controlling motors and you can just write a value effectively to a register in that circuit and it'll it'll keep the mark space at the value in the register so as you can see it's relatively straightforward just get the connections right um, and mimic that program and you should be uh, able to control dc motors without any problem okay thank you